My name's David Childs and I'm the Professor of Euphonium here at the University of North Texas and that was the TMEA Audition Etude number one, Adagio Cantable in B flat major, attributed to Jacques-François Gallet, a French horn player, academic and composer born in 1795. I like this etude. Um, it gives the performer the opportunity to demonstrate an expressive quality. Uh, the adagio cantable marking literally means slowly in a singing style and I think it's the singing style which needs the most attention. A good singer has a good voice so we need to make sure that our tone has the hallmarks of quality, a pure and open sound, nothing too strained or forced. Singers very rarely sing without warmth, without a, a vibrato. So there's definitely scope in this particular attitude for us to experiment with that tool of expression, vibrato. Unlike singers, we're unable to communicate through words, um, but with our music, we can create emotions um, through rubato, moving the music forwards and backwards, and through dynamic, and through changing the tone. Um, you may have noticed that I tried to keep the tempo flowing as much as I could. And although I observed the, the written commas that are, are on, your, on your sheet music, I didn't always take the opportunity to breathe. But that's a decision for you. If you need the breath, then take the breath. Uh, that's what they're there for. My rubato was largely led by um, both the pitch and the dynamic of the music. So if I could see that the music was, was rising in pitch and the dynamic was also increasing, uh, I'd contribute to that intensity by maybe just picking up the tempo a little. And likewise, if it was falling in pitch or the dynamic was, was coming away, then it makes sense often to, to slow things down, bring the pace back a little. Again, these are decisions for you to make. Uh, on a technical level, care needs to be taken with the ornamentation. Uh, at the bottom of the page, in the left-hand corner, um, you can see how the turn should be played. Uh, and you can see that it should be nearer 32nd notes than 16th. That said, try not to let the ornamentation sound frantic. It still needs to be of, of musical quality. Although it's missing on this particular edition, there should be a small sando marking for measures from the end. Smort sando literally means to die away, and in musical terms, that means to, to grow slower and also softer as you approach the end of the piece. My advice to anyone that's struggling with this particular etude would be in one of your practice sessions, or, or several, um, put the euphonium down, practice singing it. When you sing, you can work on the phrasing, you can work on the breathing, you can work on the pitch, you can work on the rubato, the timing of the ornamentation, all those things that become a little more complex when you're holding the euphonium, you can do very freely. And if you can um, create a version uh, that sounds reasonable as a singer, and I know we're not all great singers, I'm certainly not a great singer, but if we can create something that sounds reasonable with our voice, when we pick up the euphonium, the, the interface, then uh, you stand a much better chance of being able to communicate something musically meaningful. Um, so look, enjoy making music with this particular attitude. It is a good one. I wish you all the very best of luck.